Good morning. Please rise and greet Father Larry with our opening hymn, For the Beauty of the Earth. For the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies. Lord of all to you we raise this hour In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Happy Friday, everyone. You know, th they say that time, time is something that we want the most, but it's also what we use the worst. <laughs> so how are we? Yes, there is a lot of truth to that. So how are we spending our time? Are we spending our time? Are we using our time productively and well? Or are we dwelling too much on the past or, and worrying too much about the future? You know, Mother Teresa once said, yesterday's gone, tomorrow has not yet begun. We have only today, so let us begin. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law, upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything, and a time for everything under the heavens. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to uproot the plant, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them. A time to embrace, and a time to be far from embrace. A time to seek, and a time to lose. A time to keep, and a time to cast away. A time to rend, and a time to sow. A time to be silent, and a time to speak. A time to love, and a time to hate. A time of war, and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toll? I have considered the task that God has appointed for the sons of men to be busy about. He has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the timeless into their hearts. Without man's ever discovering from beginning to end the work which God has done, the word of the Lord. Be to God. 
The response, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust. Lord, what is man that you notice him, the son of man that you take thought of him? Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowd say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist. Others, Elijah. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing that I'd like to do is to save every day till eternity passes away, just to spend them with you. Those are words from a beautiful love song written and sung by Jim Croce back in the 70s. It's a song that deals with mortality and the wish, which we all seem to have, of having more time or stopping or holding time so that nothing changes, so that we can make precious moments in our lives last forever. Like the sweet romance between you and your other half when you were first dating, or the smile and the gentle embrace of your sweet and adorable toddler, or the firm finger hold of your little baby, or the tears of joy in your parents' eyes after your amazing achievement or the laughter and jokes among good friends on a fun and unforgettable vacation. These are moments we wish we could save in a bottle, but we all know that time simply marches forward. Time is represented through change. And when we hear the words from Ecclesiastes, we get hit with a clear message that to everything there is a season. And it reminds us of how fast time really does fly. Everything just comes and goes. Everything truly has its season. And we are living through it right now in this pandemic. And we have no idea how much longer this will go on. Only time will tell. Our life here on Earth is but a series of moments. And to make every moment count, we have to embrace it by giving full attention to everything we do and every person we come in contact with. We gotta live in the moment and not dwell on the past or worry yourself to death about the future. 
Seizing each moment in life allows us to prolong its value and make it more meaningful. Living the moment, however, does not mean that you have to erase or devalue the past, nor does it mean that we can walk blindly into the future by scrapping our plans or dreams. No. Living in the moment means being present to witness the miracles of everyday life without the distractions of fear that clouds our view. Time is just way too precious for us to get caught up in the regrets of the past that we prevent any opportunity to blossom in the present. God calls us to use this limited gift of time well and wisely because we just don't know what tomorrow will bring. So there's no better time than in the present to be more loving, to be more generous, more compassionate and just, and more forgiving. Now is the time to make amends. Now is the time to get rid of all the unnecessary clutter that weighs us down. Now is the time to be more grateful for what we have rather than envious of what we don't. Now is the time to own our mistakes and learn from them. Now is the time to let go of any anger or resentment. Now is the time to stop worrying about things that are simply not in our control. Now is the time for hope and love. Father, may we be humble of heart and look to the needs of our brothers and sisters in Christ. For Pope Francis and Cardinal Supitz, may they inspire the church to imitate Christ, to be just in her ways and holy in her works. We pray to the Lord. For the leaders of our nation, may they humbly serve those they have been entrusted to govern, placing their own interests second to the interests of the people they serve. We pray to the Lord. For children and teachers who are back in school, with your help and guidance, may they take their recommended precautions to keep themselves safe. We pray to the Lord. For the beauty of our earth, May we care for and preserve all of God's creation so that future generations may experience the wonders of our precious but fragile world. We pray to the Lord. For love, may we acknowledge that loving others and our need to be loved are central to who we are as Christ's disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. For the sake of our parish, for all those suffering from the coronavirus, and for all caregivers, may they be comforted by our prayers and by the presence of God in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, may they find eternal peace and love in arms of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. And for Sister Norma, sister of, uh, sister of Sister Joan, who suffered from a stroke, uh, we ask that God give her comfort and the grace of strength. We pray to the Lord. Gracious God, may we seek you always, knowing that our life is in you. 
We ask all these through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn is Here I Am, Lord. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Make of me what pleases you. Here I am, here I am, Lord. You spoke my name and beckoned me to come before you. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises are nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we acclaim, Holy, 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 You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her into the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, who remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God, and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist. I love you above all things and a desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask with a heart full of love and longing that you come at least spiritually into my soul. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me 
to be separated from you. Amen. And our communion hymn is As the Deer Longs. As the deer longs for running streams, so I long, so I long, so I long for you. A thirst my soul for you, the God who is my life. When shall I see? When shall I see, see the face of God? As the deer longs for running streams, so I long, so I long, so I long for you. Echoes me. As deep as calling unto deep, over my head, all your mighty waters sweeping over me. As the deer longs for running streams, so I long, so I long, so Continually, the foe delights in haunting me. Where is God? Where is your God? Where, oh, where are you? As the deer longs for running streams, so I long, so so I long for you. Defend me, God, send forth your light and your truth. They will lead me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. As the deer longs for running streams, so I long, so I long, so I long for you. Then I shall go unto the altar of my God, praising you, O oh, my joy and gladness, I shall praise your name. As the deer longs for running streams, so I long, so I long, so I long for you. also pray for Carol's Barbera and Dr. Gabriel Lorenzo and Anne Barr, for whom this Mass is offered. So let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And please join in our closing hymn.
Holy God, we praise thy name. Holy God. 